We talk about vibrant plurality, and vibrant plurality is not possible without discussion and without relationship. Um, and common in all faith backgrounds is this belief that when we break bread and we engage in community and relationship together, uh, we can move forward. And uh, I think we all desire to see that diversity around the table, but it's really hard to get there. A lot of faith events that I have partaken in, especially interfaith, are not genuine. But for, for here, for this event, um, I felt the honesty, I felt the truth. So there was a sense of like, oh yeah, here we are together and we're, not, we're gathering to, uh, to build solidarity but also really work towards not just the, the good of our faith communities but for the good of uh, the country. I think it's really important to remember today that Canada is a work in progress and it's a really, really beautiful work in progress. And so moving forward, asking what is the best parts of what makes us Canadian and how do we em embrace that and live that out um, here in Canada and abroad in a more holistic way. My dream for the 200th is to see reconciliation truly having taken root. Um, I would love to see a First Nations and Indigenous communities really feel like the 200th is their celebration as well and together we can say that we are closer to living in, in true vibrant plurality and we're closer to true reconciliation um, than we were 50 years ago. No matter where we are going to be in 50 years, one thing you know, we can know for sure is that there will be communities of faith, there will be churches, there will be synagogues, there will be mosques and gurdwaras. Basically, I'm hoping in 50 years, the moral fabric of Canada would have um, been nourished um, a lot through faithful communities.